nicknamed the Hurricane, Gilbert Ivel was one of the most aggressive fighters in MMA history. His aggression helped him rack up wins across several organizations and even has 34 knockouts to his name. However, there were several instances where he couldn't rein in his aggression and Ivel committed some dirty and downright criminal actions during his fighting career. So let's take a deeper look at one of the scariest and dirtiest fighters in MMA history, Gilbert Ivel. But before we get to the bad stuff, a little bit how Ivel grew up. He had it tough as a child to say the least. From an early age, he and his brother were abandoned by their parents. In fact, Ivel wouldn't know his biological mother until he was fully grown and a well-known fighter. But as a kid, Ivel grew up in one of the most crime-ridden areas of Amsterdam, Netherlands. In Bajol Mermeri, Ivel would spend his childhood in an orphanage and be forced to grow up much sooner than most kids do. His one outlet came when his brother started to train in kickboxing and MMA. Naturally, Ivel followed his brother's footsteps and started training as well. And this would help Ivel get out of poverty, but the very actions that made him a world-famous fighter would also make him infamous very soon. In his career, Ivel has had several prominent moments that have labeled him dirty and even a criminal. Naturally, we'll start off with the first one. In 1998, Ivel participated in the Pancreas European Championship. This was a Russian tournament and Ivel was representing Holland. During the tournament, Ivel fought a Russian fighter named Karamula Barkalev. During the fight, Ivel would be badly dominated by the Russian fighter's superior grappling ability. However, after successfully fending off several submission attempts, Ivel got back to his feet and landed his devastating power. It seemed as if Ivel had won the fight, but moments later, Barkalev would reveal a nasty bite mark on his chest. That's right. During the grappling sequences, out of frustration, Ivel had bitten his opponent, and it was so bad that the mark appeared instantly and started to bruise as well. Naturally, Ivel would be disqualified for his behavior. Now that one incident alone wouldn't make Ivel a dirty fighter. What really earned him that reputation was his next foul. This time, Ivel was matched up with Dutch kickboxing legend Semi Schilt during a rings event in 1999. Schilt came into the fight as a heavy favorite, as he stood an intimidating 6 feet 11 inches and had high-level kickboxing ability. Although Ivel ended up hurting and dropping Schilt early in the fight, he couldn't finish him. Instead, Ivel used his grappling to get the better of Schilt, but the referee had some questionable stand-ups during the fight. Maybe that's what added to Ivel's frustration, as soon enough, Schilt would wear a couple of bloody eyes that seemed to be a result of eye gouging, something that the referee missed. Eventually, Schilt had trouble seeing properly, which allowed Ivel the opportunity to knock out his opponent and win the fight. Now, Ivel had both eye gouging and biting to his resume, and it wouldn't be long after that we would add another eye gouging victim to his list. At Pride 16, Ivel faced off with MMA legend Don Fry. Fry was known for his toughness and general brawling style, so fans were excited to see the two throw down. However, in the opening minutes, as the two fighters near the turnbuckle, Ivel raked Fry's eyes, and you can see Fry immediately react as he grimaced in pain and squinted his eyes trying to defend himself from Ivel's incoming attack. Again, just moments after that, as Fry engaged in a clinch, Ivel repeatedly put his thumb and fingers in and around Fry's eyes in an attempt to break the clinch. The move was so blatant that some of the ringside doctors even stepped up and pointed it out to the referee. Ivel would be given a yellow card for his behavior as a doctor checked on Fry's eyes, which were starting to shut. Quickly, a general redness spread around them. After passing the eye check, the fight resumed and Fry quickly got another clinch. This time, Ivel committed the worst and the most obvious eye gouge, which even the announcer saw clearly. Ivel literally stuck his thumb inside of Fry's eye and repeatedly jabbed at it. Again, Ivel only received another yellow card instead of the fight being called off. Once the fight resumed, Fry engaged in grappling again, taking Ivel down, and it seemed as if Ivel gouged at his eyes a few more times. And then later on, during another clinching sequence, Ivel had another one of his blatant eye gouges, and the referee had finally seen enough and disqualified Ivel. Ivel would not take this decision quietly, as he attempted to argue and rage against the referees before his corner man got to him and attempted to calm him down. Now, all of these incidents so far have been extremely dirty, and Ivel has rightfully earned himself a poor reputation. But what he did next was not only downright criminal, but many believed he should have had his fighting license taken away from him. This one was a kickboxing fight that took 
place in 2004. Ivel was fighting Addy Backman, and the two were in a clinch, but the referee stepped in to break it up as they were dangerously close to falling over the ropes. However, the referee wanted the two of them to restart in a clinch position again, but Ivel wasn't having none of it. He kept on ignoring the referee's attempt to restart the clinch or simply swatted the referee's hand away from him each time. After several moments of this, the referee was fed up with Ivel and started to give him a stern warning when all of a sudden Ivel threw a powerful hook, connecting to the chin of the referee and knocking him out momentarily. To make matters even more disgusting, as the aging referee attempted to get his wits together, Ivel threw a body kick at him. Meanwhile, his opponent Backman quickly exited the ring as Ivel attempted to restart the fight himself as the referee stumbled around the ring before ringside referees and doctors interfered. But it would take Ivel's own corner man to calm him down as Ivel was clearly in some kind of rage mode where he wanted to fight someone very badly. Like we said, Ivel's actions that night were truly criminal and they should have consequences for years to come. His scheduled fight against Sergei Karitanov would be cancelled by the Nevada Commission for his past actions and in 2009, Nevada only allowed Ivel a one-fight license to fight in the state because of his past behaviors. Aggression has followed Ivel throughout his life, from growing up in one of the highest crime areas in Amsterdam to naturally transitioning into fighting, where his aggression helped him win fight after fight, mainly by knockout. So that part of him definitely helped Ivel become a successful fighter. But at the same time, it's that uncontrollable aggression that made Ivel from a knockout legend to an infamous fighter. He has bitten his opponents, gouged their eyes horribly, and even taken his aggression out on innocent civilians like a referee. Despite all of that, Ivel did get a shot in the biggest organization in the world, the UFC. But for the fans who dislike Ivel, this was a treat, as Ivel lost all three fights, two of which came via TKO. One of these was against the legend Junior Dos Santos, who landed a crushing left hook on Ivel and sent him flat on the canvas. Now we're sure that was satisfying to watch after all that Ivel has done in his career. And after being released by the UFC, Ivel found some success in lesser organizations before retiring from fighting in 2018. It has been several years since he's done anything dirty, so hopefully he has learned and became a better person. But if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down one of the dirtiest fighters in MMA history, Gilbert Ivel. We'll see you next time.